Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Lesson 2. Coffee Break Chinese. Welcome back indeed to Coffee Break Chinese. My name is Mark. Crystal. We are delighted to be back with another episode and we hope that you enjoyed the first lesson of this brand new series from the Radio Lingua Network. So let me see if I can remember how to ask Crystal how you are. Crystal, ni hao ma? ni na? Uh, I don't know what that phrase means. <laughs> Try that again. I'm very good. Yeah, I got that bit. Ni na? Meaning, ni na? How about you? Okay, so I can just answer, uh, hao. Okay. So far, so good. Um, I hope that everyone has been doing some studying and been doing some review of what we covered in lesson one last time. But we're going to start with a little bit of review today. And then I believe we're going to be talking about greetings at different times of the day. We're also going to be learning how to introduce your own names and how to ask other people their names too. Perfect. Uh, Okay, I think it's time to get on with the lesson. Okay, Mark, what does that mean? Are you good to go? Oh, we did the expression for let's get started last time. Can you remind me of that? Mm-hmm. Let's start. Okay, so let's ask the question again. Mark, uh, What's your tones, Mark? Okay, let, let me hear it one more time. Kai. Kai. Shi. Shi. Ba. Ba. Kai. Shi. Ba. Okay, one more time. Ask me the question. Jun Bei Hao Lama. Kai. Shi. Ba. Fei Chang Hao. We're going to start with a little bit review. Mm hmm. And perhaps we should look at those, uh, how are you, I'm well, I'm very well, and all that kind of thing. The, the, the phrases that we learned last time. How? How means good. Good. Okay, right. So to say, uh, how are you, we should remember that one. Ni hao ma. And remember to think about these tones. I find the tones very difficult. Um, so Crystal, if you can really help us with our tones. One more time. Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. And again, I'll leave some space for our listeners to repeat. Now, to say I'm well, we learned. Wo heng hao. Wo heng hao. So that's I'm well. I remember the one for I'm very well or I'm extremely well. And I think that was wo fei chang hao. Watch your tongue, Mark. Wo. Fei Chang Hao. Okay, Wa Fei Chang Hao. Wa Fei Chang Hao. Wa Fei Chang Hao. Okay, and then there was also a, an expression for I'm okay. I'm not I'm, I'm okay, just kind of middly. Mm-hmm. Hao. Wa hai hao. Heng hao. Okay. Now, back in our introduction, you introduced a, a new phrase. Yes. Um, and that was the phrase for what about you and you. Can we hear that one again? Ni na. Let's repeat that. Ni na. Ni na. Right. Just thinking about tones here, can I ask if that ni is the same as ni hao is the same? Right. Third tone, I think. Okay. But then the na, is that, that's neutral? Neutral tone. Yeah, so ni na. So can we put this into a conversation? Mm -hmm. If I start by asking you, ni hao ma? Wo heng hao, ni na? Uh, Wo fei chang hao. Xie xie. Xie xie, yeah, I've got to be polite. Xie xie. So thank you. Wo fei chang hao, I am very well uh, thank you. How would I say, if I wanted to answer Nina, uh, how would I say I'm also 
well. Here you introduce a new one, yeah, meaning also. Yeah. So you say, 我也很好. I also very well. 对. Okay. 我也很好. Those are all third toads, aren't they? <laughs> 我也很好, 对. 我也很好. Okay, so can we try the conversation again? This mm-hmm. time I'll try to, to use that expression. Mm-hmm. 你好吗? 我很好,你呢? 我也很好非常好 Okay, so there we've got a new word. Let's hear the new word again, the word for also or to. 也也 Okay, now I think now what we should do is move on to some new content because I think it's important that we not only say hello and greet people all through the day, but we know how to greet people at different times of the day. So could you teach us, Crystal, how you would say, for example, good morning? Of course. Good morning, we say 早上好. 早上 meaning morning. 好 means good. Basically, you say morning good. 早上好. 早上 好,非常好。早上好. So that's good morning. And the goods there is the same good that we've had in, in another phrases. 好,早上好。非常好。Can I ask about tones again here? 早,third mm. tone. Third tone, okay. 早,生,neutral tone. Okay, 生。生。生。Mm. And then 好 is third tone, yeah? 对。so, 早上好, good morning. Okay, what about good afternoon? 下午好. Let's hear that one again. 下午好. 下午好. 很好. You can guess, 下午 means afternoon. Okay, and then the 好 again meaning good. 对. So, afternoon, good. Let's hear the word for afternoon one more time. 下午 And tones. 下, fourth tone. So that's the one that's coming down. 下 Right. 午, third tone. 午, 下午, 好. 对. 下午, 好. Good afternoon. 对. One more time. 下午, 好. 下午, 好. And let's remind ourselves of good morning. 早上好 So I'm going to try and think of this musically. It, 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 good morning is da 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 And then good afternoon. Slightly different musical version. 下午好 da 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 <laughs> Sounds a little bit strange from we're uh-huh. not saying the real words, but 下午好 好。下午好 Okay, let's add in good evening. 晚上好 Now that's the same tonal pattern, I think, as good morning. Uh, da, da, da. So let's hear the words again. 晚上好 晚上好 Good evening. There's one more that we need to add in, and that will be good night. Wan an. Oh, there's no how here. <laughs> no, because here you still have wan. Wan means evening or mm-hmm. night. An in this case means peaceful. Ah, okay. So let's hear it again. Wan an. Wan an. Wan an. 很好. Okay. Let's run through those four greetings one more time. So good morning. 早上好早上好 Good afternoon 下午好 下午好 And good evening 晚上好 晚上好 And good night 晚安 one and 非常好
Okay, now hopefully we'll all remember them for next time and whether we are recording or you're listening in the morning, evening, afternoon or, or night, we'll be able to greet you appropriately. Now coming up after the break, we're going to be looking at Chinese names and then learning how to ask each other our names. All that in just a moment. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. It's time to move on and we're going to start talking about a new topic and that is the topic of names. Let's look at some of the cultural aspects of names in Chinese because I'm very interested in this crystal. Crystal to me doesn't really sound like a a traditional Chinese name. Tell us the story, please. You're right, Mark. Crystal is a Western name. I was given this name when I was in university by Australian teacher. Uh-huh. Everybody in my class was giving a Western name because we were learning English as our subject. My Chinese name is Pan Yong Qing. Can I try repeating that, please? Pan Yong Qing. Pan Yong Qing. Very good. Okay. So which part of Pan Yong Qing? is your surname and which part is your your given name? Good question. In Chinese names, we start with family name first. So Pan is my family name. Mm -hmm. Yong Qing is my given name. And also Yong is what we call generation name. That means all my siblings share the same generation name, Yong. For example, my elder brother could be called Pan Yong Gang. Okay. So his first name is Gang, but we share Yong. As a generational name. That's right. So all of the people in, in your generation of, of your family. What would your, your father's generational name be, for example? My father is called Pan Ke Wu. So the generation name is Ke. Okay. For example, his brother is called Pan Ke Cai. Okay, I think that makes sense. But now it's different. Because of China's one-child policy, in a family we don't have siblings like we used to anymore. So people tend to use just the given name and the family name. For example, someone could be called Li Hong. Li is family name. Hong is given name. So generation name is lost. A fascinating insight into Chinese names. Yes. I think, Crystal, or should I say, I think Pan Yong Ching. It's time to learn to ask people what is your name and to answer that question. So can you tell us how you would say what is your name? 你叫什么? Okay, that's straightforward enough, I think. Let's see it one more time. 你叫什么? 你叫什么? 很好. What do those different parts mean? 你, you. You, yeah, we've, we've seen that before. Called, 什么, what. Okay. You are named what. 你叫什么? And to answer the question, 我叫潘永庆. 我叫 Mark Mark. Pendleton. (laughs) Okay, well, we'll come back to that in just a moment. But let's look at I'm called again. 我叫 我叫 Okay, so I'm going to ask you your name. Mm -hmm. 你叫什么? 我叫潘永庆 你呢? 我叫 Mark Pendleton. I think I need a a Chinese name. Can you help me choose a Chinese name? Yes. Because your family name is Pendleton, 
we could choose a Chinese name close enough to your pronunciation. Could use Peng. Peng. Peng is a very popular family name.、Okay. For example, our first lady is called Peng Li Yuan. Peng Li Yuan. 很好 So let me just get my tones right here. Peng is second tone. Okay, so if my family name is going to be Peng, what about my first name? That's easy because your name is Mark, so we could use Mark. Mark. Yes. Okay, so from now on, I can call myself Peng Mark. 非常好，彭马克。彭马克。很好。So can you now ask me what? <laughs> let, let's do the whole conversation. 好。Uh, Oh, what's this? The this question again? You call 什么 You call 什么我叫潘永庆。你呢？我叫潘马克。非常好。Oh, okay, and we got the 你呢 in there as well. And you? What about you? 对。Okay. Is that how you ask the question in 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 Chinese? Is there anything else we need to add in there? Yes, sometimes、um, we add 请问 meaning "May I ask?" Okay, well, let's hear that again. 请问请问、mm-hmm. 请,请问请 means please.、Mm-hmm. 问 means ask. Please ask effectively. Excuse me. May I ask? So is that like a, a polite way of of asking someone a question? 对 For example, I can say, 请问你叫什么 So that's like saying,、um, "Excuse me, can I ask you what is your name?" 对 Okay, let's repeat the whole thing. Hmm. 请问你叫什么 Leaving some time for our listeners to repeat, of course. 请问你叫什么很好 Okay, it's getting tricky. It's getting tricky. Anything else we need to know about names? Yes, sometimes we introduce ourselves to people. We say, "I am Pan." That's just your 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 family name, isn't Correct. it? Correct. Sing is family name. Sing. So that's like using sing as a as a verb almost. I sing. Could I say I sing Pan? Yeah, 对 I sing Pan. 对 So my family name is. Peng in my case, Pendleton Peng. Yeah, and then you see, 我叫永庆。叫 is your given name. Okay, so let's see if we can work this out. We can say 我姓彭 and then if I wanted to give inf- more information, I could add 我叫彭马克。对 Right. So the sing is just for the second name, the, the or well, in, in the family name because it comes first. It's not the second name in, in Chinese. Okay, right. Now, Mark, we have learned 你叫什么 What's your name? But in China, we usually say 你叫什么名字 We add 名字 means name. Okay, so what name are you called? Kind of thing. Right. Let's hear the whole phrase again. You call 什么名字 I'll try that. You call 什么名字非常好。你叫什么名字？字字对。<laughs> okay, right. So can we then add、uh, 请问、mm-hmm. to the beginning of that? 对。So I could ask you, 请问你叫什么名字？很好。And you would respond, 我姓潘，我叫潘永庆。Okay, can you do the same for me now? So you ask me the question in full, and I'll see if I can respond. 请问你叫什么名字？呃，我姓潘，我。叫彭马克，非常好
Oh, I'm quite chuffed with myself. I'm, I'm pleased with that. There's one final thing that I want to learn in this lesson, and that is what you say to someone when you're pleased to meet them. You've you've established what their name mm-hmm. is, but it's important to to have that whole pleased to meet you. I'm mm-hmm. sure there's a, a Chinese phrase for that. 对，很高兴认识你。Let's hear that again, please. 很 means very. Yeah. 高兴 pleased 认识 no. To know, 你 you. Okay, so 很 the next part was 高兴高兴认识 That's a tricky sound. 认识认识嗯哼、mm-hmm. 你对 Okay, so the 认识 is to know. 嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 And the 高兴 pleased pleased.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so 很高兴 That's very pleased.、Uh-huh. 认识 to meet、uh, to me,、uh-huh. you. Oh, it makes sense. 很好很高兴认识你非常好 Okay, can we put it all together in a conversation?、Mm-hmm. I'll begin, and I will say, 请问你叫什么名字？我姓潘，叫。潘永庆，你呢？我姓彭，我叫马克。Or you can say 我叫彭马克。Oh, Full、yeah. name, of course. 我叫彭马克。嗯哼，很很高兴。My tones are all wrong. I think 很高兴。认识你，高 first tone 很高兴 ，so keep first tone 高高很高兴认识你，很好，很高兴认识你，认识你。Okay, it's very tricky stuff. But that's why you can listen again to this episode, and I'll definitely be listening again to this episode before we move on to the next one. Well done. That's it for another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. We hope that you've enjoyed it. I have certainly got lots to practice before next time. Now, to help me practice, I'm going to be using the lesson notes that are part of our Coffee Break Chinese Premium version. There are lesson notes that are video versions where we can see the words written in Pinyin and indeed with some Chinese characters too. And also, there is some bonus audio which will help us make more progress with the Chinese that we're learning. You can find out. All about that at coffeebreakchinese dot com. There's full information on the website. Don't forget that you can also join us on social media and practice your Chinese with us. All the details are at coffeebreakchinese dot com. That is it for this episode.、I'm、going to jump back to the last episode and see if I can remember how to say thank you and goodbye. I think that would be 谢谢再见谢谢再见 You've been listening to our podcast from season one of Coffee Break Chinese. To get access to the bonus materials for this lesson, which include lesson notes, bonus audio materials, and video versions of the lesson, where you'll see the words and phrases on the screen of your device, you can take our full online course on the Coffee Break Academy. Head over to coffeebreakacademy.com. Now, if you've enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when we publish new lessons of Coffee Break Chinese, then make sure you hit the bell icon which appears. Also, post a comment. Try out your Chinese. Let us know what you think of these lessons. We'd love to hear from you. So that's it for this episode. Thank you. 谢谢再见 You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2019 Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2019 Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved.